Hello, this is Nancy. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Today I'm participating in the Fairy Core Fantasy Core Spring playlist hosted by Annie at Indiana Jones. I'll leave the, her link and the link to the playlist down below. Today I decided to make a mushroom home and I'm going to show you my process. For the base, I'm using a wooden round from Walmart. I think it's seven and a half inches wide. And I'm using cotton yarn from Hobby Lobby. It's called, I love this cotton. And this video is mainly to show you my process. If you would like a copy of this pattern, just drop me down below and I'll send you the copy. For the base, I only cover the top. I don't do the, the, the bottom completely. As you can see here, I'm sewing in the bottom. It won't slide out. I did paint the top of this round green um, after I, I crocheted the circle. Because when I put the crochet circle on, you can still see the white. So I did paint it some green so that way it blends in with the yarn. If I'm not following a ready-made pattern, I like to take notes. So that way, if I want to recreate it, I have the information. And sometimes I do turn them into patterns for sale. So here I'm writing all the colors down that I'm using and what they're for and the size of the hook. And then we go on from there. Taking notes while crocheting does make the project longer, but in the end I have a finished project so if I have to um, recreate this, I already have the notes. I have all the spots for the mushroom cap crocheted and I use a little dab of hot glue in the middle of the circle so that way um, it stays in place while I, was, I sew around the edge.
As I mentioned earlier, I'm participating in the Fantasy Core Spring Playlist hosted by Annie at Indiana Jones. I'll leave her channel below and also the link to the playlist. Fantasy Core is an aesthetic based on a fictional universe often inspired by real world myth and folklore. Fantasy can be inspired by various times and places. For some of my crochet items that they need a, a sturdy bottom or base, I either use wood like you saw on the base there, or in this mushroom I'm using cardboard, so that way the bottom of the mushroom doesn't puff out when you put the stuffing in, so it keeps it nice and flat. Now to breathe some life into this little mushroom house, I'm adding a path here with some felt, which I glue down with my hot glue gun, and also um, add some colorful buttons to it. You can decorate this any which way you want. This is where your creativity can run wild. Now I'm adding a little picket fence that I got at Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. And I'm trying to figure out which way I want to put it and then I hop glue that down onto the base.
the edge of the walkway was looking a little plain so I crocheted this little trim that I'm adding to the edge of the walkway and around the base of the mushroom as well. Now to make some more decorations, I pulled out my polymer clay and I'm going to make some flowers. I also made some butterflies but they came out a little chunky and I didn't like them. So you'll see the butterflies but I didn't use them. I need to um, play with more with my clay to get better looking butterflies. I've had all these polymer clay tools for years now, so I'm not sure where, where I got any of this stuff. I'm using a little um, flower cutter that's for um, clay as well, and I'm going to be making some daisy looking flowers. The first ones are like, more, more like um, black eyed Susans, and then I make some daisies as well. I use some of my clay tools to add some dimension to these little flowers. I'm poking little holes on, on the, the center there. I don't know if you can see it there. And then I put those to the side. I, I press the little flowers up, but uh, when, I, when I go to bake them, I actually bake them upside down on a half round wood bead. So that way when it comes out of the oven, it's already um, formed. There's so much you can do with polymer clay. This is just the, the beginning for me. Even though I've had this for years, um, I really never practiced it. So since I have it out, I might make more stuff.
Now I'm getting my flowers to bake in the oven. Um, you bake them according to the package that you get because different, different brands have different directions. And you can see here that I'm putting my flowers upside down and I'm using those little half round wood beads like I said earlier. You see right there. That way um, when they come out they already have that little um, cup look. I should have made this when I was doing the flowers so I could bake it at the same time, but I didn't. I was planning on doing a crochet window, but then I decided, hey, let's do a, a little polymer clay window. So I'm just making it a little round window with some window panes. Now to add all these embellishments. I'm adding some of the little daisies to the fence and then I add some of the daisies and other flowers to the base itself. I made a little bench out of a Jenga block but I lost that footage so in the picture you'll see how tiny that little bench is and um, just go from there. You can just decorate this any which way you want. The sky's the limit. If you are liking this video, please give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, comment below, how would you decorate your mushroom house? If you're liking my content, please consider subscribing, hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. I do sell most of my items that I make here on YouTube. I also take custom orders and I also um, sell some crochet patterns. All that information is linked down below. If you want any more information, just send me an email. Don't forget to stay for the pictures at the end of the video. And until next time, be brave, be strong, and create with something new.